vowing fast changes. Before her PC leadership win last Saturday, Redford had already promised to restore millions back into education funding within her first 10 days as Premier. Our Danica Pakolik joins us live from our news centre with more on that story. The City of Edmonton is proud to announce that three major developments have now officially been completed. It's Reading Week in Edmonton and we found there are many ways to get involved. This week we shared the importance of reading with a local Grade 1 class. Brent and I went to St. Catherine Elementary School this week to read to their first grade class. We were surprised by the students' enthusiasm and their early appreciation for books. They, um, that it makes you ha make a good reader. Reading Week encourages children to understand the value of literature. The teachers here have found the response to Reading Week successful. It's good exposure for the students so that they can see other people reading and different adults and the different kinds of books that they like so it's not just oh at school we have to read but that they see that people read at home to their kids and like to enjoy books outside of the school environment. Reading Week continues to inspire young students around Edmonton. If you'd like to more information visit epl.ca. Continue over the next decade. With a boom starting in the province's oil and gas industry, some say too many jobs are being created. Our Celeste Jewell joins us live from our news centre with more on that story. There are thousands of them, just a download away from invading your computer or smartphone. Apps are where it's at, and this week students across Alberta arrived at Nate to create the latest and greatest in the growing technology. The Great Canadian Appathon, a nationwide contest, kicked off last weekend. The challenge gives students across Canada the chance to create an app. But there's a catch. The app has to be created in 48 hours. Nate student Daniel Berryhill is excited about being able to participate in this unique contest. It's a great experience to, I don't know, see how this all plays out and uh, see what some of the other teams are working on as well. Um, just kind of get some ideas for what to do with the industry. The participants pack their sleeping bags and prepare for a long, stressful weekend. However, these students aren't only motivated by an educational and hands-on experience. They're in a competition for $25,000 first prize, over $50,000 in prize money, and bragging rights nationally and internationally for having won one of the biggest competitions in North America. This year, Nate was chosen to host the event for Edmonton. The fit comes naturally after the introduction of the app program and new state-of-the-art computer labs. This is exactly the kind of showcase we would like to have to show what Nate can do best. Uh, it's interdisciplinary, it brings the best together in the, in the world-class technology and gives them an event around which they can get inspired, get passionate and get creative. Inspired, passionate, and creative is just what these students demonstrated at the Appathon. Daniel Berryhill is excited for the winner to be announced in November and has an appreciation for what the Appathon has to offer. I'm not expecting to win, but if we do, great. If not, we'll be able to come away saying we did this and we tried it and maybe we learned something from it. So Elise, how's the weather shaping up for this weekend? Well, it's definitely not going to be a warm weekend and with all this fresh snow that we got this week, it's our first real taste of winter around the province. So let's take a look at the boards. For Calgary, we have a low of minus 22 and a high of minus 9 and partly cloudy. Jasper, we have a low of minus 27 and a high of minus 15 and mostly cloudy. Fort McMurray, we have a low of minus 21 and a high of minus 17 and cloudy with a few sunny breaks. Edmonton, we have a low of minus 24 and we're going to be hitting the mid negative teens as a high and partly cloudy. Our record high for Edmonton is 15 degrees in 1917 and our record low is minus 34 degrees in 1896 and our average temperature for this year is a high of minus 1 and our average low is minus 10. So we're not going to get any snow around the province but we're definitely going to have to brave it through this cold weekend. Is the cold... That's all for Nate News Watch. Don't forget to set your clock back an hour before you go to bed tonight. And if you want to check us out online, visit... You can't listen to a hit music station here in Edmonton without hearing her songs. It's time to meet the young 18-year-old behind the big voice. Now on a much lighter note, you can always find videos of cute cats and dogs on YouTube, but this one seriously had me on the floor laughing. So, you know, I, I went to the this fridge, week's viral video is called Ultimate Dog Tease, you know featuring Clark, 
an extremely hungry dog getting teased by his owner. You know that bacon that's like maple? It's got maple flavor. The maple kind, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I took that out and I thought, yeah. I know who would like that. Me. So I ate it. Oh, no. You're kidding me. How cute was that? If you have a viral video you'd like to feature on our segment, post it on our Nate Newswatch Facebook wall. And that's it for entertainment. Have a great weekend.